some time ago, nobody believed that we can grow it in this environment. <laughs> and the breeders have broken the barriers, bringing the wheat from 1 ton, 1.5 to 6 tons. And they are going to go to 8. Fantastic. Good. Good. And, and I think it's important for for us to understand the implication of what he just said. Mm -hmm. You see, wheat is grown in a temperate, cold environment. It's not a crop that was made for tropical countries. Now, for research to have worked to introduce a variety that is tropical, which is it can grow inside of hot environments, but also to be adapted to that environment. And not only that, but to give you yield of six tons in a hot environment. I, I think for those of you that may not be scientists, you, you need to understand that that is the difference between when you fly a kite. You know a kite? The kite that we fly like this and a plane. That's the difference. <laughs>
which has led to a wide gap between domestic production, production and consumption. Heavy states produce uh, increased production from over 3,000 hectares last year to over 10,000 hectares this year. And the output growth is over 300 percent. And the Kevi story shows how easy it is for us to achieve the target we are talking about here. I want to emphasize about this, our farmers, how we support them. And we, in Kebi, we told uh, His Excellency, the Governor, how we want to offer other uh, associations so that we can sit down together, all the other states, so that they, we can plan all together, because we are not working for one channel, we are working for the nation, so that we can plan together to uh, to replicate what we've done in Kano. Let the association meet with you. Okay. Yeah. Now you bring us the what quantity do you need for next year? We must be set by the beginning of September. Ready for everything for L for late October and uh, middle of November. Muhammad Ali, the vision, the commitment, all the stakeholders agree that it can be done. I'm glad what we have here today are research institutes, government, we have flour millers, we have farmers who have ever been ready. So we are fixing that value chain that has been wrong. Everyone believes the farmers want to produce good crop, the industry wants good crop for their, and everyone, there's a, a meeting of minds, and government is here, the federal minister, the president is here, represented by the Minister of Agriculture, Kano State Government, Kevin State Government, and many other states have sent representatives, and I believe all the Wheat Farmers Association have seen the, the, the yield this, this season, and I believe with that, like the, my brother said, we don't even need to tell people farming is, uh, wheat farming is profitable. The promise of the current government is to make agriculture a business, and this is best demonstration Your of Excellency. that. I was able to get the seed itself on credit. Uh, even the, the, the providers with the macronutrient fertilizers that we spray on the, on the wheat. And definitely we have observed differences and we are expecting more yield, particularly this year, when the intervention reached so many farmers. Nehikala, Akakawa, Ili, Anan Alkamawa, Mukalaba, Manuma, Akaji, Akaja, Ili, Shikala, Tukuma, Dawa, Mukakuma, Bawa, Manuma, Ili, Nang, Akakuma, Yadashi. Kaskia. Sikazu, Manada, Ili, Lika, Nagoji. A quay noman, a quay atilla, a cat de bumutung goma, a cabasu, a gonetera, a gonosu, to Allah the equansa, it a noman, a casa madala. Sick about the ill the tachi, our nongo and the kinamutung goma. To Alhamdulillahi, one of Munchon and Ali. Baramana, the owner of Sukuma, a cat tabataman at the sewer, Al Kamawa, the Bagway, the Kadawa, a quay one abung al Hiri, the Etasuda, then Kawa Manoma, do means the soaking. Show me how I can chase the alkama. Kaskia can. So we have come for the land preparation in the in season. Yeah. We'll look at the land preparation. Mm -hmm. Then we'll look at the planting mm -hmm. method of plantings. Yeah. They have to be here. Ah, then the fertilizer application. Okay. They must be here with us. Okay. Then we'll look at the crop protection. Okay. Whenever there is either weed or the disease or insect comes. We have to teach them on that one. Yeah. Then we we'll come to post harvest. Uh -huh. At post harvest, when it is okay, reach physiological maturity, we we'll show them the differences. When to harvest and how to harvest and how to do your tracing. Good.